Hi Evan and uh, here's our first try at uh, the video lesson. Um, thanks for, uh, for trying this out. I uh, appreciate you uh, appreciate you trying it and uh, just give me some feedback. Let, let me know what works, what uh, doesn't, anything that might help. Um, I thought we would try uh, for the first tune here. Uh, this is an old German tune. Uh, that I heard Fiddler in Alabama do by the name of James Bryan. Uh, it seems to be a pretty popular tune in the old time circle in the village. It's called Baby Ben. Uh, it's really fairly simple tune which is typical of all the old time tunes. One reason that I like uh, playing them, they're very good jam tunes because they're very repetitive. Lots of, uh, lots of repeats and, uh, and uh, so it's, it's quick to pick up on these tunes and they're good to, good to jam with. Uh, this one's in the key of G. Uh, I'll try to, uh, hopefully I can get this to work where you can see it. Um, the way this method works is it's, it's a traditional method uh, called uh, call and response. And the way it works is I will uh, I'll play the tune through one time first, regular speed, just to give you an idea of a uh, feel of what it sounds like. And then uh, I'll break it down into what, we, what I call a call and response, where basically it's I'll play the first line, which would be the first line of the verse, uh, and then you can play along with me, repeat, and I'll try to go through it a couple times. And then we'll follow with a response, which is the answer to the call. Uh, that would be the second line of the verse. And then we continue on with that until uh, the tune is finished. Uh, basically, most old-time tunes, pretty much all old-time tunes, and for that matter, a lot of, uh, of other forms of music, too, uh, are made up of an A and B part. Uh, or you might think of them in, in terms of a song, uh, that would be a verse and a chorus, where there's four lines uh, that are played in the, in, in the verse, and the chorus is followed by four lines. And generally, those... Um, couple of those lines in each one are, are repetitive. Uh, usually the first and third line repeat in the uh, A part and also a lot of times the first and third line will repeat in the B part. So another reason uh, for it make it easy to pick up on. Okay, uh, we'll go through it here. Key of G, Baby Ben, and then we'll break it down. I hope this microphone is working. I'm trying to use a microphone so you can can hear it a little bit easier. So here we go. Baby band, key of G. Okay, that's Baby Ben. Um, <clears throat> we'll break it down and uh, feel free to play along with me here. I'll try to go through each line a couple of times so that you can hear it and hopefully you can see it too. Um, the first line or the call to this tune starts on the second string which would be your A string. Starts open and the first call is okay again that's open and that's the call another thing I like to do uh, that you might want to practice on uh, it's very typical with the fiddle and of course the mandolin um, works pretty much the same way as the fiddle too. It's what I call double stops. Double stops will give you a fuller sound when you're playing. Um, and uh, I, I like to
to use them all the time that I can. They're very simple to do. You, you have the melody line, which is uh, like we just went through on that first line. Okay. Now if I'm going to do that with double stops, I simply play the same thing, but I, instead of just playing one string, I'm going to... to play actually over two strings, which in this case is going to be the, the uh, two middle strings, the A and the D string. And we'll make that C chord there. You can also do it, you want to hold down the G chord, you can do first two strings would be then the two middle strings. That gives you a little fuller sound and uh, you got some harmonics going there behind the uh, behind the melody. Okay, that's the first line or the call. The response to that is Open again on the A string. Okay, again that's all right with the double stops that would be the second call, third line of the uh, of the tune repeats the first line. Okay, again. With the double stops. to the A part is again with the double stops and that's the A part of the tune. On to the B part, go up in the higher register, uh, starts on the third fret of the first string, and it goes like this. Okay, again, with the double stops. Okay, the answer to that is Three, two, one. Or with the double stops, going to the C chord again. The answer to that is. string, second string. One more time. And the devil stops. Oh, excuse me. Repeats uh, again that same phrase, or with just a single string. Again, and then the answer. 
answer, or with the double stops on that one, that would be... And then the final answer is... Again. You can throw this in too. And that's it, Baby Ben. All right. Hope it helps. Let me know. And, uh...